Tonight, we take a closer look at the YPP and its plans for 2023 elections. And Nigerian government shields herdsmen, blames ISWAP for a war attack, report says. Well, this is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anakon. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, earlier published the particulars of candidates nominated by the political parties for the 2023 general elections. This included Ado Ibrahim Abdumalik, presidential candidate of the Young Progressives Party, YPP, and his running mate. The national chairman of the Young Progressive Party, Bishop Amakri, expressed satisfaction with the massive support the party enjoys, saying YPP candidates will deliver the dividends of democracy. He also reiterated the assurance of the party's leadership to change the narrative of governance through its candidates and urged the youth and all progressive-minded Nigerians to take their destiny into their hands by registering for the permanent voters' cards, which remained the only weapon to enthrone good governance at all levels in the forthcoming 2023 general elections. And joining us to discuss this tonight is the National Publicity Secretary of the Young Progressives Party, Comrade Egbeola Wale Martins. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Martins. Thanks for having me All right. on your program this evening. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So let's talk about the party. Um, uh, hopefully we will get to speak to your presidential candidate. But today we want to talk about the YPP. The YPP obviously is a party that was built to accommodate young people and their aspirations. But over the years, uh, there seems to have been a lot of metamorphosis happening within the party. Because as we see today, we have an Ado Ibrahim as your presidential candidate. Um, what has changed within the party from when it started until now? Yes, thank you very much. Um, uh, as it is with every movement, come political party, in this case, the Young Progressive Party, we've evolved over time right from when the party was registered five years ago, precisely 2017, um, June 7th. And um, ever, ever since then, we've been waxing strong and uh, we've been able to penetrate all the states in Nigeria, um, cascading down to the local government, which at the initial was not the case. Uh, over the five years, um, uh, the YPP has been strengthened along that line. And um, I can tell you that um, one of the fundamental reasons why the YPP was vetted was on account of the fact that um, we felt there was a need for a paradigm shift. Um, there was no, um, it, it, it will only be full added for us to continue to do things the same way and expect a different result. What exactly have you so, changed and, that, um, that is going to get you, young, I, I'm young. so sorry, I'm so sorry, I thought you stopped talking. I was wondering, what exactly have you changed within the party to get you the kind of um, results that you're looking for in 2023? Because I'm guessing that what you want to do is win. Yes, definitely. Yes, a, a lot, a lot, a lot um, has changed over time. Um, we, we, we are coming, our, our center and our, our uh, uh, pivot is on the strength of um, transformational leadership. We've seen over the time that um, the problem with Nigeria is not even with us, but majorly with the kind of leaders that we have. So we strengthen our leadership recruitment process, which helps us to throw qualitative leadership to Nigerians. In 2019, we did the same thing. We, we, we brought in a, 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 a man with that um, caliber of Professor Kinsley Mogalu, who ran on our platform in 2019. And in 2023, we've moved a step higher by bringing somebody of Prince Malik Ado Ibrahim with both national and international experience in diverse areas to be able to 
transform Nigeria as it is. His worth of experience in the area of power is second to none. There's no presidential uh, um, candidate as we speak, you know, in other political parties have got his own hands-on experience in the area of power, in the area of security. Those are his major strengths. And as we are today, if you can solve the problem of insecurity in Nigeria, if you can solve the problem of power in Nigeria, then you know that over 70% of our problems are solved. So, in essence, we, 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 we are building organic followership. We are also um, um, bringing to the table our expertise in terms of our ability to solve the myriad of challenges that is confronting the nation as it is. We, 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 we are also ensuring that we are on the same page, you know, with all Nigerians who have been battered over the years. In the last 23 years, it's been sadness, sorrow, and woes high unemployment rate, uh, um, um, the, the, the human development index, which is a composite statistics for education per capita income and life expectancy is, is getting worse by the day. All, in, all indicators, you know, uh, uh, um, in terms of economic indicators are uh, at their lowest that we've never experienced before. And the PDP and APC have been there over time with empty promises only for them to get there and begin to 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 um, ask the question uh, uh, of what they actually promise, and then um, we, we felt things cannot continue that way, and that is why we 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 we, we came up through a very effective leadership recruitment process to throw up a man like Prince Malik Ado Ibrahim to be able to um, confront these challenges head on. This is not a man who will have to wait. Um, for like six months before he appoints his ministers, or he would have to start traveling um, from one place to the other to be able to seek solutions. He already have them in his blueprint, and he's going to start working from the one um, to ensure that um, things are effectively, you know, put in place in Nigeria for the benefit of his citizens. I'm curious, um, looking at um, something that your party um, holds as a mantra. Together we are stronger. And your mandate is that you believe that it is time for generational shift in leadership and this revolution must be driven by highly cerebral, mentally progressive and young innovative leaders without greed. Um, if Nigeria must truly live up to her full potentials and take her up to her rightful place of leadership in Africa, this is what you have as your party's mantra. But 16 candidates from 16 different political parties have been fielded. Um, and we've seen the APC and the PDP, which have continuously been, um, you know, the two biggest parties in the country um, who have taken turns to lead this country. Now, looking at what's happening now in the political terrain, we have also seen other people who have probably left the APC and the PDP to other political parties, Dito for the NNPP, the Labour Party. What chances does the YPP stand against the caliber of people? who are going to be running for this same office, that highest and revered, most revered seat. When it comes down to it, does the YPP stand a chance? Yes, I can tell you the answer is an emphatic yes. We have eight months to um, be able to, um, you know, governize our citizens it's enough time for them to be able to evaluate all the candidates and then also make informed decisions. You know, thank God that it's unlike the time that the electoral art never gave the opportunity for a period over time for Nigerians to assess the kind of candidates. You know. This time around, that opportunity is there, and we are building on this. And I'll tell you that um, things are changing. We really. turn out of um, Nigerians, youths most especially, who there's a need for them to take their destiny into their hands, participating in the political process through massive registration, and also translating that into voting for the candidates of their choice. And there's no better candidate, I continue to say, than a man with international, both national and international experiences in the private and public sector. He is a man who has seen it all at that level and worked with the under secretary of the United Nations, and his, his global experience will bring global competitiveness 
in terms of our economy, businesses, and in, 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 in our sphere of uh, uh, our development. And I'll tell you that um, in line with what you read concerning our vision, what we come for, our mantra and our mandate, you see, the YPP is, our, our vision is to build an egalitarian society, you know, that is um, 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 anchored on citizens as a prime resource, driven by mentally progressive and young innovative leaders without greed. And we, 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 we put that, that without greed, because over time, the problem with the kind of leaders we have in Nigeria is greed. You hear the humongous money they steal every now and then. And this has been the case right from the 60s. What terminated the 1966 democracy was on account of heavy corruption. Over the years, nothing has changed. It's been corruption. Look at the, the, the accountant general of the federation um, 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 who, who, who was alleged to have stolen 80 billion naira. So many money missing. This money alone, if put together and if the, the loop holes in terms of corruption is plugged, is enough to solve how many challenges in this nation. Mm -hmm. So I can tell you competitively that the kind of, 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 of candidate we are putting forward is a man who is highly cerebral, who is innovative, who is going to be bringing something entirely new, something bold and something different to the scene, something that has never been seen before. He's okay. not telling you, I will do this. He's somebody who is marching words with, with, with action. Okay. Somebody who is already doing those things that is coming to replicate in the nation. So I can tell you that man for man, in terms of candidature, we have the best candidates running for this election. Great. Um Aside from the candidate that you have to offer, what is your base? I ask this again. The YPP at the beginning was, uh, even the name says it's for young progressives. But then I ask because there is a movement and, you know, the obedient movement. And they're mostly young people. Online, offline, these are young people. So what is your base right now? What is your strategy to get some of these, if not a huge, or all of these young people to also see the strategy that you bring to the race come 2023? How do you intend to galvanize all these young people? That, that has been ongoing. We were the only political party immediately after the 2019 election to have a post-mortem analysis of the 2019 election. Um, through a gathering known as stakeholders meeting to review. And since then, it's been ongoing. We've been doing, uh, 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 reaching out, galvanizing the youth, building an organic movement. Um, let me tell you something. You see, um, the, 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 the example you gave with the youth doing a lot with the um, obedience movement is a welcome development. But I can tell you um, emphatically that it takes it takes a lot of involvement to be able to effect a change. The Young Progressive Party is a platform for everyone, including the young and the old. So the name itself is not just restricted to the young. You know, even the old, the old is a party for the women. And I can tell you that our strategy, our strategy is ongoing. It's not something that you know it's ongoing. You see, there's no, there's no ballot, there's no ballot uh, 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 um, um, box on social media. What you see is, you you, you see, we, we we have coordinated, uh, um, committed, pragmatic individuals that are working tirelessly for for the party at the level of the local government and what. And then I, I can tell you that with time, things will evolve and they will understand that um, in, in times of winning an election is, 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 is both being on ground and also, you know, um, total commitment um, that transcends the, the, the noise and the ular balloon in social media. So but I can tell you that we have a lot of youths that are working for us. We have a lot of youths that are involved. We have a lot of youths that are participating in this political process. And with a matter of time, you 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 see you see that um, 
uh, 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 what we are doing, we drop whatever you see that is currently going on right now. Great. Talking about being on ground, and this is my last question before we go for the break. Um, you have spoken about, you know, being on ground and, you know, um, quieting the noise on social media. Let's talk statistics. How many seats so far since the, um, the antecedents of this party um, and, of course, now in 2022, how many seats locally uh, at, at, in, on, um, at the local level, local government, uh, at state levels, and even at the federal, on the floor of the National Assembly, how many seats has the YPP won around the country? Yes, if, if that is a yastic, um, I think you will not name five political parties, big five political parties currently in Nigeria without mentioning the YPP. Because as you speak, YPP outside the APC and PDP is the only political party that is represented at the level of the Senate. There are only three political parties that have got senators in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and YPP is one of them. And then, um, as it stands, we were also able to to to, to win a councillorship um, seat, councillorship seat in Lagos. Uh, and um, you know, through the the normal maneuvering of the APC, um, uh, that uh, uh, our candidate was threatened, and somehow we ended up having a situation where he was forced against his wish to become to the ruling party. But that, as it may, YPP is only five years old. As I, Mr. Martins, are you there? I think that we lost that connection. But um, Igbeola Wale Martins is the uh, publicity secretary of the Young Progressives Party, the YPP. And uh, it was a great conversation. Well, we'll take a quick break. And when we come back, we will discuss the Awa massacre and how this has affected the people's trust in the government. Stay with us.